In this video, we are going to be simplifying exponents. And with all the exponent rules and practice that we have had, I went ahead and selected three important rules, the quotient rule, the power rule, and the product rule, where we are asked to rewrite the expressions as a single power. Now, as we come to find using the quotient rule, we have two to the ninth power over two to the fifth power. If we remember what we said earlier is that we have a variable raised to the m power over the variable raised to the nth power. What we want to do is we want to keep the base x and then we take our two powers and subtract them. So we would subtract the value of m minus the value of n. So now in this equation, we see that our base is 2. So we're going to keep our 2. And then we're going to take the value of the first or the top, the numerator. The exponent in the numerator is 9. And we are going to subtract it with the exponent in the denominator, which is 5. So when we simplify further in our final simplification, we keep our base as 2 and 9 minus 5 is 4. Now we can simplify, as I said, or simplify just a little bit more. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 more is 8, times 2 more is 16. So fully simplified, the correct answer of 2 to the ninth power divided by 2 to the fifth power equals 16. Now let's move over to the power rule. And one main thing that we learned in the power rule is that we're going to multiply our exponents. And in this case, the exponent on the outside, which is two, gets multiplied with the exponent on the inside, which is five. So if we look at negative five, we're gonna keep our base here, and we're going to multiply these two exponents together gives me 10. Now I could rewrite it without the parentheses and negative 5 to the 10th power. When we simplify this further, we want to make sure that we keep the negative 5 together. We don't want to use 5 to the 10th power and just tack a negative to the answer. Remember that any time that we have a negative number raised to an even number exponent, we are going to have a positive result. If I have a negative base and it's raised to an odd number exponent, we are going to have a negative answer. And that is because a negative and a negative is a positive. So two negatives multiplied together will give me a positive. What, three negatives will give me a negative in my answer. So that's just a little, little tidbit right there. But remember, when we're doing the power rule, we are going to be multiplying these two together. I'm going to put a point there to remind you to multiply. Now, looking at our product rule, the product rule is when we have our base and we have the base m with the exponent m, and then we have our base x multiplied with x to the nth power, what we're going to do is we are going to keep our base and we are going to add the m and the n together. So in this situation, we are going to keep our base of 6 and then we are going to add our first exponent to the second exponent, which will give us an answer of keep our base 6, 4 plus 4 is 8, so we have 6 to the 8th power. So here's a couple pr problems to practice with on simplifying exponents. And remember, we need to rewrite these exponents where these, or excuse me, rewrite these expressions as a single power and refer back to any of your notes that you had in class. Don't forget to share this video with your friends to help them out as well. And also subscribe to Math is Simple YouTube channel.